Today I want to show you how to use inpainting in uh, Affinity Photo. Inpainting allows you to do content aware uh, retouching and removing of objects. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is find the icon. That's a little bit difficult um, on some icons, uh, particularly the retouching icons on Affinity Photo. You've got like drop downs. And so you'll see this little arrow in the corner, which means that you can change uh, uh, what the uh, function is. And so it will change the icon. And so you, you might find that uh, it's a different icon than you expect. So what you need to do is you need to go down here. It's about five up from the magnifying glass, which is down at the bottom here. And you'll see you have different tools here, like there's a patch tool, so it may be an icon like that, or it may be a band-aid icon, depending on what it was set to on default or what you, you set set it to before. Uh, but anyway, look for the icon, look for the drop-down, and you'll find one that says uh, healing brush, patch tool, blemish remover, etc. These are all of the, the retouching tools right here. And... Uh, Frankly, um, in painting brush pretty much makes these other tools kind of obsolete because it's such a good tool and it will do pretty much the same stuff these other things will do. These other things actually take sections of the picture and, and try to replace uh, where there's a flaw in the image or something that you want to cover over. But they're made, most of them are made for smaller patches in they don't do as good a job. So we're going to select in painting brush tool right here. This tool actually looks around and it, it really does all of the work for you pretty much. And so you'll see there's a little circle here now, which is the brush. You can set the width of the brush up here. Uh, and it's, it's set at 91 uh, pixels right now. And that's pretty good. See, we can make it bigger if we want. But you want to pick a size that's uh, not too big or too small, depending on what you want to use it for. And so this is a pretty good size here. We could actually make it a little bit bigger. Uh, but we're going to work with this size. And you see right here, there's this little post right here. And so let's actually just zoom in on this a little bit. So you see this post right here. It's, a, it's some sort of pipe. I guess it's a well, actually. Uh, and uh, say we want to remove this. All we have to do is brush over it and it, it kind of highlights it in red and then when we're, we're done selecting the area we just left let go of the left mouse click and it thinks and you see it it fills it in totally you can't even see where it was and you can touch up things a little bit here so say we want to just kind of get rid of this line here so you can go back over it uh in, in, until it's the way that you want it let's zoom back out here so we're just going to go around the picture and find areas where we want to get rid of so we have part of this driveway right here and there's something up here too so let's just make sure you what you want to do is you don't have to be super precise on this particularly on an area that's just like a lawn like this but you want to go cover the area that you want in a little bit of overlap as well uh, so that that it's a smoother uh, transition. And so then it thinks about it. And you see it did a really good job there of removing that. We're going to remove this now. And so you can go around. There's, there's, this looks pretty natural right here, but say I want to just kind of smooth that a little bit more there. And uh, if it doesn't work initially for you when you first do it, you can always hit Control Z, undo it, and go back and try again. So let's get rid of this shadow here. So I got rid of that shadow. Let's say I want to get rid of these rocks. And as you uh, kind of uh, work with it, you'll start to get a sense of the best way to um, use the brush. Sometimes it's better to go along, uh, just along the line. Sometimes it's better to go across it, depending on the texture. The sky is really easy. So uh, if it seems particularly difficult, just do a bit at a time. Like you can just do maybe that much if you wanted to. 
But on something like this, where it's, the sky is kind of a solid color in this particular picture, there's no clouds or anything. So we can bring it right up to the edge here. And then we're going to go in some more. I'm going to just take it right to the edge of the roof right here. I'm going to just hold it right here and just click once. And you see it, it took care of that right there. And then I'm going to do it over the edge here. Click it once. Click it once here. So you can just use the brush and just do one portion. Uh, a lot of times that works best uh, on areas that particularly if they have more of a texture. So we're going to just hit that here like that a couple of times. Then we're going to go across here. Let's see how that works. We're going to go just straight across like that. I don't really like the way that looks so much. Let's go back over it again. That's pretty good. You can go back over an area if you don't think it, it did it very well. And so then I'm going to just hit Control Z here and go back a bit. And I went along where these uh, these boards are, just like horizontally. But on this one, I think I'm going to try going diagonally up with where this um, wire was. And then I'm going to go over it again. That's a little harder where these boards are. So it may have been better. Let's go back again. So it may have been better just to use kind of a thing where we just go over a section and click on it once. So you can see how that seems to work better on this texture. Let's see if we can get rid of this. So we may want to go like that. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Then we can just drag this down right here to get rid of the shadow. So it's, so it's doing a, a great job here of getting rid of that line. Now here is, is, is where it's a little more tricky. We had to figure out where would be best to get rid of this line uh, if we want to get rid of it. Did we want to leave kind of the mess that was up here? It looks like it's dangling or maybe it could be going inside of the um, house here or something. But probably we want to uh, make it so that it looks the most natural as possible or so it's not noticeable. Uh, in fact, we could probably just get rid of the whole thing. That didn't work out too well because it, it kind of, it, it melded these boards some. So I'm going to leave it like right there. Maybe I'll get rid of a little more of the shadow right here. So that looks pretty good. That's not really noticeable that that's been touched up. Um, so you've got to think of what looks the most natural with it. Um, generally, you want to touch out as much as we did right here. But it did a great job uh, touching all of this stuff out. I'm going to zoom to fit. So that looks great. We removed a lot of stuff from it. Uh, so I took this photograph to show you how much it can really remove because we not only removed power lines, we removed power lines over over the, the boards of a house, which is a very textured. Uh, we, we even removed the shadows from those. And, and we removed a, a lot of stuff from the, the lawn as well. Uh, generally what you would do though is if you were going to crop the image you would crop it first and then get rid of uh, some of the uh, problems uh, with the lawn and, and other things where there would be an object that you want to get rid of if you have an area like sky and or lawn or, or, or grass uh, or pretty even texture like those or just a clear sky where there's really no texture at all it it works very well and it's very easy to do. But always remember, just take it slow, do small bits at a time uh, and experiment with it. Uh, and if you have a, a problem with an area that you did and it doesn't look quite right, use Control Z to undo it back to the point where you liked it and then add it back in until you get it right.